will be in the New Testament today if you'd like to open your Bibles, those who have a Bible and those listening worldwide, we're going to be reading in the writings of Hebrews, Paul writing to the Hebrews in the New Testament, Hebrews 12, only a few verses, very powerful, very deep, Hebrews 12 verse 1, therefore we also since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily snares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and had sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Our final verse today is verse 3. For consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls. Tell of our message today, looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. No other God mentioned. No other God mentioned. No other God mentioned. No other teaching mentioned. No one else mentioned. Looking unto Jesus, looking unto Jesus, the author, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured, endured, endured the cross, despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand. Hey? How are we going to endure? How are we as human beings and saints, Paul's writing to saints, how are we going to endure in these days, in these last days? There's so much going on around us. If we don't pick up our cross, if we don't pick up our cross, deny ourselves and follow him. Most churches and ministers, preachers and writers, they miss out the, the amplification of a certain part of that scripture, the middle bit. They miss out the amplification and the expounding upon denying ourselves. <coughs> Pick up your cross, deny yourself of what? Chocolates, you know, hamburgers, fish and chips. Deny yourself of sin deny yourself of the passing pleasures of sin deny yourselves of the pleasures of sin which the scriptures say are passing but there is a pleasure that remains and is eternal it's the pleasure and it's the joy of walking circumspect before the Lord walking upright God will not withhold any good thing from those who walk upright. So the title of our message today, Looking Unto Jesus, Looking Unto the Author and the Finisher. Let's have a look in Hebrews 12 verse 1. Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin that so easily snare us. There's a lot of weight out there that the world wants to dump on you. There's a lot of weight. Things like uh, resentment and jealousy and, and, and the cares of this world and, and uh, covetousness and all this weight, all these things that snare us. And, and, and hold us down and hold us back. And then uh, the perils that come with not progressing and going on and maturing in the Lord are vast. Let's put aside the weight. Paul counted it all his weight as dung. All that he could have had 
all those things that he was that was of no real value when it came to his relationship with him in Christ and his, his ability to help others in Christ and help others to come to Christ, he put it all aside and counted it as done, even though the world may have counted it as uh, 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 an asset, and even though he may, account, uh, uh, may have accounted it as uh, and counted it as um, value once upon a time, and 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 greatness and all those things that Paul had, even the great brother Moses, he had a lot going for him too, rubies and, and diamonds and, and um, uh, great riches and authority, but he put it all aside to suffer the reproach of Christ outside the gate, so to speak. Uh, he did not enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, but he chose rather to suffer with the people of God. How can we endure if we don't look to him? How are we going to run? Uh, we'll be just dragging our feet. We'll be just dragging out. We won't be running the race. And let us, uh, Hebrews 12 verse 1, uh, the tail end of that verse says, and let us run with endurance the race. We need endurance. We're not going to endure with weight. No marathon runner carries a stove on his back when he runs. No marathon runner or Olympic swimmer carries a car under their arm and, and, and carries all the cares of the world with them at the moment they're going to race and... and, 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 and endeavor to win the prize set before them they cast it all aside they focus this is talking about focusing on jesus in a world that's just like a tin of worms you know what i mean <laughs> so to speak in a world that's think they're thinking our world's the world's thinking is like a tin of worms it's all over the place. There's nothing definite. There's no definite lines drawn. It's, oh, you know, um, Jesus isn't right, so we must be right. If Jesus is not right, hey, well, the world is right, and, and that means everyone in it. So there's a lot of varied opinions and a lot of ways involved there. It's a potpourri, isn't it? It's a mixed bag at the least. Looking unto Jesus. Can you say amen? <coughs> Looking unto Jesus. We have good reason to look unto him. He's the victor, undisputed champion of the universe. Never lost a battle. Even when he hung on the cross, they might have been laughing and mocking and cursing and jumping up and down thinking, we got the victory, but he rose again. The lamb, he was slain. The lamb, he was slain. But he rose again. The people, they all cry to see my Christ crucified. But he rose, he rose, he rose again and conquered the, the, the whole situation, conquered uh, all that needed to be conquered for human uh, beings and mankind at large, dealt it all a death blow at the tree, enabled each and every one of us to come through the door of faith and by faith accessing the power or the grace of God that enables us to endure through faith, obedience to the word of God, can someone say amen here today or someone viewing uh, by uh, YouTube or the internet? Hey? Let's have a look at verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, for the joy that was set before him. A lot of joy was before the Lord. Hey? In, but the scriptures say very clearly, in verse 2, the author and the finisher who endured, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, 
endured the cross because he's seen up ahead that even this man would be standing here today ministering the blessed word to you. What joy it is here today listening to this word. i got joy in my heart right now, deep, deep down in my heart. J-O-Y, down in my heart, deep, deep down in my heart. Jesus, give it to me. I say, rejoice, rejoice. I've got joy down in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. J-O-Y, down in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. Jesus, oh, he give it to me. He promises in his word and he's not a liar. Let every man and woman be a liar. But let the word of God be true. He promises us joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable and peace that outruns and surpasses the understanding of the human mind, the degenerated mind and even the regenerated mind. We can't understand. The peace is just so beautiful. It's heaven. Hey? Therefore consider him. He despised the shame. There's a lot of shame comes with carrying a cross and there's a lot of shame came to Jesus hanging on the tree and they say, oh, you reckon you're this and that? Come down off the tree. And many have said to me over the last 24 years of preaching, oh, you reckon you're this and you reckon you're that? Do this and do that. But I tell you what, I despise the shame and the, and the, the, the rubbish that people put on me in the streets as I'm ministering on streets for 24 years on a daily basis. And they're mocking and laughing and throwing things at me and spitting on me. And as uh, it's uh, uh, clearly displayed on my website, uh, uh, a Muslim, a professing Muslim from Saudi Arabia, covered me in fuel, uh, a lighter fluid, and set me on fire, trying to stop me. But as you can see today, he hasn't stopped me from preaching the truth of the Lord God Almighty Jesus the Christ because I look at the joy set before me I despise that sort of rubbish I despise the shame I despise all uh, the rubbish that is dumped on me when I go to preach the Word of God and I look to please my Father and my Saviour my Father in Heaven and my Saviour the Lord Jesus Christ I look forward to coming to Jesus one day and saying, I've done what you said, Lord, and he will say to me, come forward, my true and faithful servant, a crown of life I have for you one. Can someone say amen? No? Title of a message today, look unto Jesus. Don't look at the water, look at Jesus. If you look at the water, you'll sink. Look unto Jesus, it takes faith. He's given you a measure. If you're a, a, a Christian and a saint, God's given all saints a measure of faith. Look unto Jesus. And you will endure. You won't get weary in your soul. You you won't um, you won't uh, 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 grow weary and and be discouraged in your in your mind, your will, and your emotions. Uh, look unto Jesus. Look unto Him today, and, and and He will lead you and guide you and empower you. Can someone say Amen? Uh, looking 